33 UFC appearances between these two guys here tonight. And Michael Bisping now is on the cusp of the title shot he has so long sought. Yeah, you know, he's so great at getting under people's skin, so great at getting into your head. And uh, Vitor Belfort, that could be a real problem tonight if that's the case. Yeah, Bisping channels his emotion well, tries to use it to his advantage. The UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva is in the building here tonight. Perhaps his next challenger will emerge. The rules of the Octagon are brought to you by Taken 2. Own it on Blu-ray and DVD today. Three judges score the bout. The bout duration is three five-minute rounds. And for championship fights and main events, we go five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must-scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his or her opponent nine or less, and scoring is based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. Alongside K-Flow, Kenny Florian, I'm John Anik. We are live in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and we've got a great lineup on tap for UFC on FX7. Habib Nurmagomedov calls Tiago Tavares the best lightweight in Brazil. Tonight, his mission to take him out in enemy territory. After years of competing around the globe for the UFC, longtime lightweight contender Tiago Tavares finally got the chance to fight again in his native Brazil. And he didn't disappoint, stopping Spencer Fisher at UFC 134 and decisioning Sam Stout at UFC 142. Tonight, he looks for three straight wins at home. But in the blue corner will be a young man in Habib Nurmagomedov who simply doesn't know how to lose. Unbeaten in 18 pro fights, the Eagle entered the octagon for the first time in 2012, defeating Kamal Shalarus and Gleison Tebow. But a win over Tavares here would be his biggest W to date. Coming up next, Habib Nurmagomedov faces Tiago Tavares. It's UFC on FX7. Stay with us. All right, we get it started in the 155-pound division. This is the Bud Light Tale, the Dick Yassina Mago Menov, 18-0, still just 24 years old. Tavares is 28, a three-inch height advantage for the Russian Nurmago Menov. The reach is identical at 70 inches. All right, let's end it inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffett. Senoras y senores do Brazil, bem-vindos! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from a Vera Fuera Arena for UFC on FX from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a combat sambo fighter holding a perfect professional record. 18 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, 70.3 kilos. Fighting out of San Jose, California, by way of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a big martial artist, holding a professional record, 21 wins, four losses, one draw. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 70.3 kilos. Fighting out of Boyanopolis, Brazil, Tiago Tavares! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata draws the opening assignment here. Camila, one of our Brazilian Octagon girls working here tonight along with Alini. And we are ready to go in the lightweight division. The fight clock is brought to you by Taken 2. Own it on Blu-ray and DVD today. Tavares in the white trunks. The undefeated Russian Nurmagomedov in the gray with black trim. Tavar is a huge fan favorite here in Sao Paulo, chasing the first three-fight winning streak of his UFC career. Tavar is pressuring, trying to back Nurmagomedov up. Really doing a good job of cutting off the cage here, going forward. Nice right hand lands there for Nurmagomedov, who came into the UFC undefeated 
at 16 and 0 and has won two straight fights the last of which came last summer against Gleason Tebow close fight but Numago Medov emerged with the unanimous decision Numago Medov really leaping in with some of those strikes with that leaping left hook he's got to be careful Tiago Tavares sits down throws a right hand right down the pipe he could be in trouble so Numago Medov makes he has to make sure he types that well he has to hide it with some feints, and he's doing that now. Tavares tries to get a combination going, unable to find his range There's there, it. and Nermago met him, floors him. There's that shot, it was a leaping uppercut, it looked like with that lead hand that dropped Tavares. Nirmaga Medov really dropping bombs now with those elbows. And Tavares is all but out here. That'll do it. Habib Nirmago Medov. Wow. How good is that kid, Ken? Yeah, he caught him with that leaping uppercut, with that lead hand. He was leaping in. He timed it well. And he was hiding it with some feints. Caught Tavares and finished him off with those elbows. Brutal. The move of the fight is brought to you by Metro PCS, 4G LTE 4 all He was fainting and boom, slept right in with that leaping uppercut. Tavares never saw it. It dropped him, and from there, it was a brutal finish. Elbow after elbow. And that's going to get a stoppage right there. So the Russian Nurmago Medov comes in and mutes the masses here he incited the crowd at the weigh-in with his t-shirt that said if sambo was easy it would be called jiu-jitsu and now he comes in and knocks out a brazilian cold all right the official decision when we return it's the ufc on fx stay with us It is UFC on FX7 live from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. All right, we send it inside for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. But first, the NFC Championship is on Fox. As Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers head to Atlanta to take on Matt Ryan and the Falcons to see who will advance to the Super Bowl. Coverage of the NFC Championship begins tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern and only on Fox. And we now send it inside to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 55 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle. And still undefeated, 19-0 for Habib Nurmagomedov. That's a guy to look out for, Kenny, at 155. Yeah, looked like an absolute beast tonight. And, uh, got it done with his strike. Very impressive. And a guy who continues to climb the ladder could find